The great orange warrior Donald Trump is back in the news with his new budget. His new budget and his new effort to get his goddamn wall. Marcus Conti reporting on Trump and his budget and his fight for the wall and his fight with Powell, the, uh, what's his face? Fucking Federal Chair Jeremy, Jer- uh, Jeremy Powell fighting over the, uh, the Fed, right? Fucking Trump is, Trump is dissing him, saying he doesn't know what he's doing. And Powell's saying Trump is, has, no, has no knowledge of macroeconomics whatsoever. Who's right? <laughs> They're probably both right. So uh, Donald Trump, Donald J. Trump, the orange terror, the orange man, is, is saying that um, reviving his border wall fight with new budget requests. So he failed on his, his, um, his idea to get the Mexicans to pay for the wall. The Mexicans are going to pay for the wall, right? Remember, the Mexicans are going to pay for the wall. Mexico is going to pay for the wall. And it just got 10 feet higher, right? So, but no, now Trump is, Trump the socialist, right? He's a fucking socialist, right? He wants to get the taxpayer, get the taxpayer to pay for his $16 billion wall. Fuck $8 billion, $5 billion. It ain't going to cost that. Anybody in contracting knows that when you say $8 billion, it means $16 billion. When you say $5 billion, it means $10 billion, right? Shit always costs more than you say it's going to cost. So here's Trump. Doing the New York shuffle, right? It's fucking the New York, New York mafia con man, orange man shuffle, right? So Trump, President Trump is reviving his wall fight because we need a wall, right? Because, because we can't enforce the the simple immigration laws and lock up employers that hire illegals. No, let's build a fucking wall, right? Let's just do it, man. Give the man his wall, right? Give the man his fucking wall. President Trump is reviving his wall fight, preparing a new budget that will seek $8.6 billion for his signature project. So he's asking for another $8.6 billion in addition to the $8 billion that he's already taking, claiming that it's a, uh, uh, an emergency, a national crisis of drugs and and prostitutes and and rape and children and killers pouring into our fucking country, right? So he's put up sixteen billion dollars in socialist funds. <laughs> Trump's a socialist, man, right? Isn't he? He keeps saying we'll never be a socialist country, but meanwhile, he's all about social project projects. Well, maybe you should get rid of the police, get rid of the fire department, close all the museums, close all the parks. Right and and we'll be uh, start you know privatize everything privatize the roads the bridges you have to pay somebody to drive on their road cross their bridge if they decide to shut their bridge then then then, then there's no bridge you can't go because the private company said fuck you you can't use our bridge this is it's insanity right the mark of a civilized country is to provide you know basic amenities to most people in the in the country it's a it's it's modern civilization that we're we're seeking here and trump is no different he's just got his head up his ass and he thinks that the wall is the most is reason to shut down the government but how about that people are you know dying with fucking they're homeless or they they um what was the other thing i was gonna say oh that uh you know the the, the foods they're on food stamps or they're homeless, right? You know, or no health care. That's what I wanted to say. No health care. That's not a crisis. That's not an American crisis. Orange man. The budget documents, uh, like the one Trump has released Monday, are often seen as just a starting point of the negotiation. Fresh, fresh off the largest government shutdown in history, Trump's 2020 proposal shows he is eager to confront Congress again to boost defense spending and cut $2.7 trillion in non-defense spending over a decade. Uh, more, more military, less, less programs for the people. That makes perfect sense, right? In, in, a, in, a, in a 19, you know, in a fucking... Check this shit out. I want to show you something, man. Look at this fucking video. I remember this video, right? This is uh, Kim Jong... Mm. Kim Jong Un, right? But returns home. Returns home. Check this video out, man. This is what Trump loves, man. Watch this shit. This is 
Ah, watch this, watch this. Oh, fucking power. No, that's not the one, man. What? Oh, where's the... Uh, there's a video of him when he returned. Oh, here it is, here it is. Watch this. My team and I always oh, had trouble managing cartoon. our tasks until one of my colleagues found Monday.com. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm killing this video, but watch, watch, watch. This is how Trump sees himself. This is how Trump... Oh, adoring fans, right? This is Trump's idol, right? Oh, look, the military. They love him. Who's stepping? Ah, uh, see, that's a that's Trump. See, Trump watches this and he gets a hard on. Right? This is Trump's this is Trump's jerk off uh, publication, right? He fucking sits around and he jerks off to this. It's like the Nazis. Ah, oh. see, that's love right there. Look. Oh, Trump. Trump's like this. <laughs> Trump's like this. Oh, look at them screaming and perfect. Look at those uniforms. Look at the goose step man on the left. Oh, God. Trump is getting fucking... He's got his dick hard on this shit. Kiss the babies. Yeah. This is Trump's man right here. Right? This is how Trump envisions himself. But uh, pretty crazy, right? So, wow, what a little diversion there. So here's Trump again, right? So what else, man? So he's, he's, he's looking to spend... He's got $750 billion in military spending. He wants to send people to space. Uh, he's trying to get more money for the wall. But, and, then, and then in the next breath, we'll never be a socialist country. Ah, uh, Donald Trump. Maybe, maybe, another year of, maybe another year of the Donald and bye-bye. Bye-bye. I know, I know. Q's got a plan. I know there's a plan. The master plan. Believe in the plan. And Trump is going to save the world, right? So here's, here's uh, this guy's, this is Jerome Powell, right? He's the Fed chair. He's got to go too. This guy's an idiot, right? Federal Reserve Chairman Jer Jeremy Powell. It all has to do with the economy today. Always. Jeremy Powell says political attacks by Donald Trump played no role in the Fed's decision on, in January to signal that it planned to take a pause in hiking interest rates. Uh, so the interest rate is the rate that the banks pay for money. If it's zero, they get free money, and they're, they're almost never obligated to actually pay it back. They borrow and they keep. When there's an interest rate, they have to pay 2% on the money that they turn around and, and re-loan for 20 25 50% to you. Right? That's, how, that's the deal the banks have. So they like the zero interest rate because it's free money. It's essentially free. They take the money with no obligation, very little obligation to pay back the Fed because the Fed is printing money. It's fake money. The whole system is fucked, right? Got to get rid of all this bullshit, right? So Trump's in a bad place, right? He's, he's in a bad way because his trade deficit, his, his, his whole promise was to, he, his, his idea of economics was to, that, the, that the, it's the trade deficit, right? The difference, like if we, if we sell more than we buy, right, then we have a trade surplus. But right now we got a, almost a trillion dollar trade deficit, meaning that we don't make anything. Manufacturing in this country is, is gone. It's not coming back. Tr Trump keeps saying, oh, it's coming back. The jobs, the, it's not coming back. There's no evidence of that coming back. It, it, unemployment is continuing to go up. Right? We still have hyperinflation, meaning that your money isn't worth what it used to be. It's not worth what it was a year ago, 10 years ago, five years ago. Right, let's check on Boeing in a couple of minutes that we're talking. Right? So you'll see how it's, how it's starting to trade. Watch this number right here. Right? 45, it's down 45 already in pre-market. 
no, 43. All right, so it's it's teetering. It's down. It's going to open down. Oh, my bad. All right, oh, so it's, it, okay, so it just it clicked again. So it's down 48%. All right, so Boeing is going to take a hit over that at that that plane crash. <laughs> I think I mixed up two stories, but anyway, I'm watching Boeing right now. All right, the markets. So, um, so that's all. What, what are we going to talk about? So, so that's really it. So you got you got you got Trump and his big uh, Trump and his big plan, his big budget plan. He's a macroeconomist. What a macroeconomic economist. What a genius, the genius of Trump, right? The socialist Trump, he wants to jack up, he wants to send people to fucking space, right? Close Nassau, close that bullshit, give people health care, right? Look, socialism, the idea of a socialist having social programs is necessary in this day and age. We are not in the Stone Age. We're not going to go back to everything that you have to go out into the into the wilderness and 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 hunt your own food and and pick your own grapes right uh, it's in in a civilized country we work together right and we we establish social programs but every once in a while policy needs to be tweaked the problem we have in america is that we can't tweak the policy because we have corrupt politicians that take the money from the corporate donors and don't answer to the people anymore the needs of the people right and at the top of the heap is guys like trump who is either believes it or whatever believes that the military industrial complex is the way to go, uh, or he's just a buffoon. He doesn't know any better, right? It's one or the other. Pick one, because it's not in the best interest of the American people to have eight hundred billion dollars, you know, delegated to military spending against enemies we don't have. We create those enemies. Because if you drop that budget, I say cut it by eighty percent. If you drop it, then you have, you have the problems of Syria, Libya, Iraq, Venezuela, and the invasions of, of the South American countries. That goes away because you don't have the military might that you're funding these the CIA and the FBI. Get rid of all this shit. Healthcare, college tuition at city and state universities. That's where the investment is. Green New Deal. Fuck you. You don't know what it is. Look it up. Green New Deal is solar, wind, wind power, solar power to replace fossil fuel. Right? The, the, a, a jobs program to make that happen, to wean ourselves off of fossil fuel. It helps the economy. It helps the environment. See, these are the, these are the things. We need a visionary at the top, right? We don't have a visionary. All we have is an is a oil man and a, and a, a, a military-industrial complex man and such, right? So that is the... That is the story today, uh, Donald Trump. Marcus Conte reporting.